In our last two videos, we learned how to undo addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, but we only had one thing in each equation. You'll notice that we have more happening in these equations right here. So we're going to be solving two-step equations, and there's one thing that we need to know to be able to analyze how to do these. It's the order of operations. So some of you might know, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, indicating that we do parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction in that order. When we undo equations, we're going to go in the opposite order. So if I do calculations, I'm going to follow this order down. If I undo those calculations, I'm going to go the opposite. So do and undo. Okay, that brings us to this. We are multiplying by 3 and adding 7 to this variable right here, and we need to undo those so that we have our w by itself. I'm going to analyze the order of operations on this and then figure out how to undo it. So I've written a second expression over here without the variable. You'll notice that the w I've replaced with a 2 here. So I can think through the order of operations, and then I'm going to reverse that to undo and solve my equations. So we have multiplication and addition. Multiplication would come first, and addition would come second. So when we undo these order of operations, we're going to undo this one followed by this one. We're going backwards from how we would do these calculations. All right, so let's go back to our equation. That means we have to undo the 7 first. So we'll subtract 7 to undo that addition. And we end up with 3w equals 12. And now all we have is multiplication. So we can undo that easily by dividing by 3 on both sides. That gives us w equals 4. And we are finished because the w is by itself. So this one, let's take a look at it. Again, I have replaced the z with a number right here. So let's analyze our order of operations. First, we're going to do this division followed by this subtraction. So reversing that to undo it, we're going to undo this one followed by that one. All right, let's do that over here. That means we need to add the 3 first. Add the 3 first. That will give us z divided by negative 4 over here and 2 over there. Let's multiply by that negative 4 on both sides, and we get z equals negative 8. We've got one left that looks very similar to what we just did, but we're going to have to do it, treat it in a different way because of the way things are grouped. So you'll notice that these two are grouped here together. Now we have to understand that this division symbol is like grouping those together with parentheses. So when I take a look right here, where I've replaced the h with a number, we're going to do this in our order of operations first. That might be easy to miss because in the original problem, it looks like we have addition and division, but we have to remember these are grouped together. So this is first followed by the 5. That means we're going to undo this 5 or the division followed by this addition up here. All right, how do I undo this division by 5? We're going to multiply by 5, and we'll do that to both sides. That gives us an h plus 6 equals 10. Then we'll subtract 6 to finish that out to get h equals 4. So you can see that it's worth it to take a second and analyze the order of operations so that you can undo this in the proper order, and this will become more and more important as we get more and more parts in our equations. Thank you.